this video guide on how to replace a script in MSS Prox. You can do it by accessing DBA cockpit transaction or you can also run the MSS Prox report. Enter DBA cockpit in the transaction box and press enter. Click the open folder icon to open the folder configuration. Select SQL script maintenance. This is how the screen looks like when you access it from DBA cockpit. Now I'll show you how to access it from the MSS Prox report. Enter a SA38 in the transaction box and press enter. Enter MSS Prox in the program box. Click execute or press F8. Now back to SQL script screen, you need to select your database release. You can do it by clicking on the release button to open a drop down list. Select the answer that is corresponding to your database release. In this example, I'm using SQL Server 2014. Click the button to set a filter and find the procedure name. You can also find it by scrolling down the procedure list. As a filter criteria, use the procedure name. Enter the name of the procedure. For this example, I'm using SAP DB encryption. Once you find the procedure, right click on it to open a shortcut menu. Select Edit to Script. It's highly recommended to backup the current script. You can do it by saving its content into another text file. Before placing the new script, make sure that you have cleared the entire content. Open the script in a text file like Notepad, copy its content, paste here, and after this you can save. In case you are prompted about duplicate scripts, it means that the content is equal to other database releases. In this case, you may confirm by clicking yes, otherwise select no. Now the procedure is updated. If you are prompted to create a transport for this object, you can get this information in the CIOS section of this knowledge base article. In the SAP note, replacing a stored proc using MSS Prox. If the procedure change is a batch, then you don't need to execute anything else. But in case your procedure is a CMS, for example, then you need to execute all the scripts. You can do it by clicking the button Execute All. Thanks for watching.